Please help support the channel by entering code IROS in game. Thank you. Hey everyone, Ross here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about camps, specifically starting and managing one yourself. Now, guys, a camp is a place to meet with new players. Form regular teammates to bring them on your dungeons and your PvP and everything. You can progress together, you can form new bonds, and you can awkwardly dance on bonfires daily. And I mean daily, in these weird circles, it's awkward as hell anyway. In this video guys, I'm going to teach you how to make and manage one with all the different features included in a camp, as I'm currently running one myself and I kind of know what I'm talking about because of that. Anyway guys, without further ado, if you would like the video, if you do enjoy it, make sure you've subscribed to the channel, we're going to get straight into it. Now first of all guys, this is going to look a bit awkward because I can't actually do it specifically because I already own my own camp. But if you want to make or join a camp, it will prompt you sometime within leveling up. I think it's around about level 10, but it'll take you to this guy, the camp counsellor called Jason. Now currently if I click him, it just sh shows my camp. But usually he'll have two options, which are create or join a camp. Now today we're talking about making them, not joining them. If you want to join an already made one, it's pretty self-explanatory. Somebody else will do all the the admin for you, you just have to be in the thing and do dailies and stuff like that. So if you want to make one guys, you need a little silver deposit. Now I think off the top of my head from remembering, remember, remembering, it's 2,000, 4,000 or 6,000. And this will give you a charter that you need signatures on. Now the charters for the respective prices are 12 hours, 18 hours or 24 hours. And that's how long you've got to make your camp once you have this. I'm going to see a piece of paper, you don't actually get a piece of paper, but it appears on the camp menu. And pretty much you need five other people to join it before you can actually create the camp itself and you start with six people. So once you've done that, you will then move to the campground. Everyone, welcome to Noah's Park, which is the centre hub of every single camp. Every camp in the game has got the same hub with the merry-go-round in the centre, etc. Now, a couple of things to know about camps. Once you make it, there'll be six of you. However, you can have a total of 85 people in the camp at any one point. Now, you can see I've got 50 out of the 85. Pretty decent number. Now, what you want to try and get all your members to do, you can see this big, long member list I've got here. You want to try and get them to do daily tasks for contribution, and they also get contribution points, blah, blah, blah. But you can see the week's activity, the last week activity, past activity, this week's funds, past funds, etc. in this. So basically by doing weekly tasks, which you find on your schedule, such as duty mission, um, there's other ones somewhere on here, I can't remember exactly where, on here, sorry. There's radiation island, bonfire party, you know camp patrol all of these sort of things will give camp contribution to the members and camp funding to the actual camp and your camp funding will appear on this menu here you can see at the top left the camp funds currency points for mine for instance are currently 40k so what you use these for is guys is to upgrade the actual camp as the leader it's your job to sort of distribute what you want to upgrade first and how and you know what i mean so you can upgrade the camp obviously but you need camp activity to be a certain level so this is members doing things so please encourage your members to do all all the different tasks and stuff every day team up with each other etc to increase the activity as well then you've got chain by upgrade training camp supply station dining hall dock these are all different things that are part of the camp to let your members do different things now, when it comes to managing memberships, or indeed kicking people out who are pulling their weight, you've got the option at the top left here, which is the little cog button, the settings button at the top here. Now, you can set a minimum level for your camp. I've currently got it at 10 because I need more members and there's not very many people joining at the moment. You can set it so that you need to approve people before they can join or not. And you can set a language and basically what you want the camp to be focused on declaration etc so that's that now when it comes to removing members guys you want to go to 
the member pH. I have done a video on this specifically uh, elsewhere on the channel, but I will show you again for this. So let's, for instance, say that Crimson here, I'm not going to kick him, obviously, hasn't been pulling his weight. So you click on him and you scroll down the menu and you can press kick. But what you can also do is, if you think some members are being exceptionally good and they're, they're really sort of contributing and stuff, you can click on them and go to a point and you can make them into another role. So there you go, I'll just give Rosie Elite, because why not? So that is that. Now, lastly, guys, to manage the count a bit better, you've got medals. Now, you can see a couple of the names on here. I've got a medal next to the name. Now, this is appointed by the camp leader. If you go to manage roles, you can see I can give and take away medals from certain people. Now, what this does is give them the option to move house. So if I show you the map of the camp currently, if I go to regional map, you can see that currently I've got three districts unlocked, one's undeveloped, and there's another one that you can't see for some reason. It's not on here, but it's called Polaris Island. It's over here. This one's locked as well at the moment. Can't actually use it. But you've got all these different things. I can't get back over. Yeah. The medals allow members to freely move between the plots and actually sort of, you know, live in them. But when you first join a camp, you have the option to move to the campgrounds. But after that, you need a medal to be able to move around freely and, you know, go to new places and stuff like that. So there's a lot to take in. I know that. But as a camp leader, you need to know all this stuff so you know you're managing correctly. And of course, there's one more feature that I find quite useful on the camp itself. Is if you go to members, you can send a group mail to either elite members up and send all members. So if you do need to contact them for whatever reason, make sure they do get the message if they're offline and they get a leader or something, you can do that. And just quickly before I finish the video, you can also manage quite a lot of it from the chamber secretary down here. You can tell her to develop new areas if they're available. Obviously, you need a chamber level increased. And you can develop the different amenities for it. Currently, I've got the merry-go-round, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, that's been how to create and manage a camp. If you have enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, and do make sure you subscribe to the channel. And hopefully, I'll see you in the very next guide video I make. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.